let's test out the dynamic range of the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So when you're recording under conditions like these, the dynamic range of the drone is really being challenged. Let's just fly a little bit around here. So you see the sun is really, really, really bright. And it's very, very difficult to make footage that actually looks nice. So what can you do to compensate for that? One thing that you can do is you can turn down the brightness of the image actually by underexposing it a bit. So you just go down here, you can see just by going down to minus one in exposure, the image gets darker and the area that is uh, overexposed is getting less. But there's still a problem because the footage is uh, basically too dark as it is. So you might need to brighten it up in post. But still, there's too much information in the image that you can basically maintain in the same frame. And this is why um, DJI has introduced a color profile that's called d like which is a 10-bit color profile that can contain quite a lot more data than uh, what uh, you can in the standard 8-bit color profile. So let's just try and stop the recording here and go under the three dots in the upper right corner and then go under camera. And there you have the d like option. If you take that one, and you enable that, you will capture more of the image. It's what's called a flat color profile. So let's just fly, just, let's just fly and uh, take some reference here. And you can already see now that the area that's overexposed is less just by switching it into this mode. This means that you have a lot more headroom to work with in uh, post-production. It doesn't look very nice on the camera. It looks like it's gray and it's flat, but that's on purpose. That's because it's simply squeezing all the information into, um, into the video stream that you need to stretch out later in post-production. Let's just do a little bit more here. Then I'll try to fix this up in post and show you the difference. So you can go basically almost directly through the sun. Fly a little bit into the scenery here. So we have some reference to play around with. So we get a lot of reflection with. So we see this is a big, big challenge for the camera because you have this very, very bright area that's the sun. And then you have a all the areas with the forest and stuff uh, where everything is, uh, is pretty dark. So let's just land the drone and get back to the computer and look at some footage. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.